Welcome back to Absolutely Marvel in DC. My name is Benny, that is Dylan, and that is Sal. We get together on a regular basis discussing things in the worlds of superheroes, movies, and comics. No, movies and TV shows. We talk about DC, we talk about Marvel, and everything else that's going on out there. And we'd love for you to join us by joining the Absolute Armada today. Hit like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and give us your opinions down below. Today I've uh, assembled a panel to discuss the nature of Disney. voice. I, I'm, <laughs> fine, NPR. whatever. Welcome, welcome to our show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Defenders, Defenders is officially on Disney Plus. Yeah. Yes. So let's start with that. Then we're going to discuss the rumors and our thoughts on them. So it's officially at Disney Plus, and they opened it up by stating you have to agree to the mature rating if you want to see mature rated content at Disney Plus. We oh, all yeah, saw yeah, this hey. coming. I don't know why, of all people, Disney was like, mm, maybe we don't have to do mature. Maybe we can. Can we use Hulu for that? Can we use <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, and and because of that, like our predictions were always like, I mean, they put it on Hulu because, like, I mean, the fact is they have it, you know, like yeah. Paramount Plus, HBO Max, all these places, like they don't have the the infrastructure that Disney does to have like sixteen different systems to throw everything onto like yeah. different platforms. But like, yeah, if you want. The only reason Netflix works is because one stop shopping. You want Disney Plus to work? Make it one stop shopping. Take yeah. all your Hulu stuff, shove it on Disney Plus. Let's move on. One place, please. <laughs> I, I, I still don't know why they haven't done that yet because I love Hulu. Actually, Hulu is probably the one I use the most because it has current stuff, old stuff. Like I like it. It's just fun right? for me. The interface is uh, on Disney Plus does suck though. It's like yeah, you can't you can't scroll. It's terrible. And another conversation that we were having back, I don't even remember what video we were talking about this on, but um, we make a lot here on Absolutely yeah. Marvel on DC. <laughs> Check us out. Like and subscribe. We at some point <laughs> said that if they put these shows on Disney Plus, it will like they're saying something about the canonicity of them. Um, right. No. <laughs> so I, I think you know, but there's still something to be said there because. Uh, the Hulu shows aren't here, but Agents of no. S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Netflix shows are. So Yes. Yeah, but so is like X-Men. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, so I, I think it's... It, are they in like a... Because they have like a like a MCU they section. Have like, yeah, they have like a fake section. Like, you know, like the like okay. a, like a, Mar like a, like a Star Wars Legends kind of section for Marvel where they're like, here are some other Marvel stuff like yeah. the Tim Story Fantastic Four. Gotcha. So, well, they have the legacy animation and they have legacy movies. And this is where it gets a little interesting. So now that we know it's here, it's going to be flagged. First off, Aces of S.H.I.E.L.D. is on here. That is under yeah. Marvel series. So it's, 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 I guess that somewhat canonizes it back into normal canon. Because remember, there's the whole debate. Make any sense. <laughs> yeah. That, well, yeah, because isn't like the, I didn't see the last season, but isn't like the whole plot like they are in a separate universe kind of a thing? I don't know. It, I didn't it, watch it. They stopped caring. I watched caring. the first seven seasons. <laughs> they clearly did. They stopped caring about about it tying in about halfway through, and then weirdly, for no reason, they tie it heavily into Infinity War, uh, and it kind of works. But then, <laughs> but then, yeah, they just straight up start doing time travel and AU stuff, and they end up by the end of the show, they're completely like you can very easily excuse that all of this took place in a different universe. That's okay. fine, especially with the multiverse now. It's like, yeah, the Age yeah, of exactly. Shield was like really close to our universe, but not. That way, we can please put May into the uh, into the canon. Yes, I yeah. want May to be back. I want Coulson to be back. The two of them, I'll take them both back. I, I miss want Coulson. Quake. I do. But miss what Coulson. makes this interesting? So that's the flagged as a series. So it's it, right. Like, it, the argument of if it's canon or not, or if they're ignoring it or not, is over. It is in normal MCU, right? regardless of where it ended with the series. It is in the series. But I the Defenders got flagged. Canon. <laughs> well, I think at the end it isn't canon, but that's like the whole point of the right. show. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. All right. But, um, but the Defenders, like, like, because it's not, you said the Defenders. They they added the people who make up the Defenders. Like, it's well, not just like, it's just, it's just not that one show. It's also, it's Daredevil, it's Punisher. Well, no, they yeah, flag the it as the Defenders too. saga. Oh. So it's its separate okay, category so it's now. Separate. Yeah. That makes okay. sense because that's, you know, that that they literally did not tie any of those shows to the larger MCU aside like with anything but dialogue. Like there's no yep. characters There'd be like a aside newspaper from well, no, that's uh, like the two Hammer now. is in it. <laughs> Hammer Industries is in it. Like Stark yeah. Industries, Hammer Industries, like they the rocks sure. are on. They're but, but they well, don't, but that's what I'm saying is like through nope. through like well, there's Sif is, oh no Sif is in the other one Sif so, yeah Sif is in Shield. Shield that's what I'm saying is like there's no characters who come down nope. from yeah. the no, MCU well and that There's was part like of the whole stuff. Marvel TV and Marvel movies being separate era 
But yeah. the reason that this is interesting, that they are flagged as the Defender Saga and not a part of other things, you know what I mean? Or Marvel yeah, yeah, series yeah. or right, whatever. They didn't put it in like Legends or something like that. They didn't cr- They didn't go like, fake! Like, yeah. you know, they didn't shove it in the X-Men. They just called it the <laughs> Defender Saga. And there's discussions of a reboot of Daredevil and Punisher coming out. Now, okay. So if 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 it was just that they put Daredevil in No Way Home and Kingpin and Hawkeye and added these shows to to Disney Plus. I'd say that I would be where either a Daredevil or Punisher reboot. Yeah. Or mm. or continuation because I don't know if anybody's watched Punisher seasons 1 and 2, but those shows are pretty extreme. Uh more it's extreme true. than any Captain America movie. Oh yeah. And they're uh, great. They're, they're great. I love them, <laughs> but yeah. they're 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 pretty extreme. And uh I just watched it. It was in Daredevil, though, uh, the Punisher jailbreak scene. And I'm like, mm. wow, they would mm-hmm. not do this. <laughs> um, but, uh, but Disney Plus added that element to their, uh, to their service, where it's like, if you log in, it says, we're adding mature content. Change your system settings to, to allow for mature content. And I'm like, okay. Like, if you make an unneutered Daredevil or Punisher, I'm in. Right, but if if you make if you make Punisher Frankencastle, I'm out. You know? <laughs> right, I think, well, and that's the thing, right? Is like Punisher, you kind of can't do without. I think you can pushing rating, but like Daredevil, you can. But I don't know yeah. if I want that because right. we have Charlie Cox as Daredevil, and like, good and lord, King is is especially season one and three of Daredevil are some of the best TV I've ever seen. And oh, yeah. right. It's phenomenal. A lot of that comes from, you know, th- them being able to do whatever they want. And it's not like, you know, you but don't need to see like dead bodies everywhere. S- yeah. Super violence. It, no, I it's actually that. just Charlie Cox at election. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, listen, if anyone is getting sexed up in the Marvel Universe, it's Matt freaking Murdoch. That guy <laughs> <But>. gets around. <laughs> but like you can you can heavily imply intimacy. Uh, they do it in the show. There's like not a lot of sex scenes at all, if any, in Daredevil. Uh, but like I think a lot of it is it's it's just even like without talking about sex and violence, it's just that it's being made for a more mature audience. So you can write it in a way that that deals yeah. with like you know there's not as much comedy, which obviously like there's jokes in the, those shows. But like right, but I just like I don't I don't imagine a world where Marvel Studios making the current shows that they're making lets Matt Murdock beat the ever-loving shit out of Kingpin and have this, like, moral <laughs> quandary. his head off. Yeah. Wh- yeah, while he's doing it. Like, I just, yeah. I can't see that. And that's a no, shame. No, I don't. No. Well, well, so, like, that's what at, I think yeah. they're doing here, though. So, I think they're, I think they're going to nerf them. I, I mean, like, neuter them all the yeah. way down. Because yeah. the way they've done this is now there are other things that are kind of flagged like this. There's the Legend of the Ten Rings, which is shows the legends. It shows Iron Man, Iron Man Three, shows the One Shot, and Shang Chi shows where all that came. So they flagged oh, them okay. like this at all. But I feel like the reason why Defender Saga is here and it's not in Marvel Universe Phase One, Phase Two, Phase Three, Phase Four is because yeah. if you didn't click that mature rating, it's gone. Right. You won't see right. this bracket, Easy and it doesn't like disrupt any of the other brackets. Yeah, and yeah. The, I think the rumors of a reboot, I'm thinking that the fact that they're saying reboot, I'm thinking it's a soft reboot. Right. I think they're I yeah. think they're just gonna they're not gonna like restart it or reintroduce brand new versions of the characters. Hence Wilson Fisk, Charlie Cox, bringing back Punisher. Yeah. I right. think we're just not gonna mention what happened in those. So that way, if you didn't click mature, you're not missing anything. Right. Or if they do, they allude to it in a way that like all the other shows do anyway. So it's not alienating because yes. if you're a Marvel fan, you're not going to be alienated yeah. because you're probably watching it anyway. But yeah, that's true. That's why I, I think it's that's yeah. why I think it's sectioned off. But it's not like in legacy, you know, no, or that anything makes like sense. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That's and the, I'm OK with that. You know, the other thing, too, is like Daredevil season three ended on such a weird note because it it got canceled and everyone was surprised including the people making it which is why it yeah. ends on such a massive cliffhanger right uh, and if they decide to pick that back up like that version of bullseye is huh. not gonna be the same because no. that <laughs> that version of bullseye is a goddamn monster That's, and he is i mean bullseye should be a full-on monster but, yes absolutely i mean even that, is in the comics i mean he but, is but, that's but, what but bullseye that, is yeah but that version is like there, there's just there's a little bit much. It's it's kind of extreme. It's it's intense. 
Yeah. And his, especially his origin you know, is intense in that show. Such a shame too if they do decide to soft reboot all this stuff and not mention it because Kingpin and Bullseye's relationship in season 3 of Daredevil is oh, perfect. It's so good. It's so so good. good. And yeah. to throw that away would be such a shame. So like I, I don't think they're going to throw it away, but they probably just won't They'll probably they probably won't call on it too much. If if they do, yeah. I can't imagine them calling on it too much, but I could see them doing that. Like I can see them being yeah. like yeah, I can see them referring to it in some way. Like, there's a history here, and we know what it is if you watch the show. And it's like, right. that's okay. I, I, I hope. I would like to believe. Because I'm... I, I keep thinking... Hawkeye made me think, oh, the Marvel shows aren't so great. And it's like, mm. no. I loved Falcon Winter Soldier. WandaVision was trying something interesting. But Am I the only one that liked Hawkeye? Like, I, like, <laughs> I, like Hawkeye. I like talk. I liked Hawkeye. I did. <laughs> but, it's the, but there's nothing... Like, I don't care about Echo... And Kingpin was weird. And I'm like, mm. I, I don't know if I trust them to do Daredevil the same way. And and I don't want them to Hawkeye Daredevil, where where it's like where it's a bunch of things all at once, but none of them thematically connect. It's just stuff. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm worried about. But there's so many iterations of Daredevil throughout comics that you could draw from. Right. And now that you can. Like, go for it. Like, I fully expect a red-suited Matt Murdock Daredevil for, Daredevil for the defense scene in the MCU at yeah. this point. I, th- I think, like, that's that's something... That's why, like, soft reboot or... or soft reboot worries me more than reboot. Because if you want to yeah. take actors who are just great at this role and let them try it again in a different way, absolutely. Yeah. But to to let them try it again in a different way, but also this other stuff where they played the character differently is still in canon and they have to yeah. balance that. It's like, I don't, I don't know. Just like pick a lane. Don't do this like right. middling, like, like that. The DC has had this problem for years at this point with their yeah. live action stuff. It's just like, yeah, go in one direction, make a hard call, do it. Yeah, no, I agree with that. But I, I still, I want daredevil. I want these characters and I would, and I like those versions. Like I think yeah. that, yeah. Like really, really honestly, like at this point, like because we got Daredevil and we got Kingpin, like from now I'm like, I want Luke Cage back. I want Mike Coulter to yeah, be totally. Luke Cage again. I would love so to good. see Luke I would love to see Luke Cage and Jessica Jones like oh, yeah. you know, are bring we just gonna together? Them back. Are we gonna recast <laughs> yeah. like, Iron Fist? Oh yeah, recast Iron Fist, yeah. <laughs> recast Iron Fist, get Kristen Ritter back <laughs> and just, you know, do yeah, no, Kristen what, uh, Ritter say she'd Wing, come back? She's great. I thought, like, I thought she yeah, said Kristen she'd come Ritter. back. Uh, well, and there's pictures of her like with her Jessica Jones hair now, and people are like, "Oh," and I'm oh. like, mm. "But uh, because they're making She-Hulk, and like Jessica Jones would absolutely be in She-Hulk, mm. so would so would Daredevil that for that matter." But uh, yeah, yeah, no, uh, bring back Colleen Wing and Misty Knight. Like, bring back those actors; they're great too. Just, just yeah, there's there's a lot Jones. of there's great casting in in the Netflix stuff, and I think like like aside from Daredevil and Jessica Jones. And like moments on the other shows, it's a shame that a lot of that got wasted. Yeah. Um, and and I think you know Marvel has a really cool opportunity now to bring those characters back, mold them a little bit into yeah. the MCU, um, and hopefully give us something cool. Yeah, and there's another opportunity here, and it's the opportunity for Marvel to try to to try something similar to the Netflix stuff where it's like you can go more subtle, you can go more character driven, you can yeah, try to totally. be a little more mature, like you can age up your stuff a little bit. Yeah. Well, I think they need to compete. I mean, I think I think the way the, them putting Defender Saga here, uh, uh the, mentioning about a reboot and you can't ignore the fact that shows like Peacemaker are doing well. People yeah. want this mature. The boys, yeah. The boys is mm-hmm. doing amazing. I mean, and then there's a series of just HBO shows that are all mature related. Like you can't, you, Disney can't be sitting there going, mm, "That's just money on the table." No, that's yeah. really like, and it's now in our pocket if we just make a right. mature Daredevil. Like, yeah, like it's too. I, think that, I, I can't imagine Disney going, "We uh, well, it's too bad we can't make a show like Peacemaker." <laughs> like, what are you talking about? You made six shows like that. I mean, not really. Peacemaker is a one of a kind kind of thing, but uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I think it's also it's it when when that conversation starts to ring up, there is this like weird nagging thing where it's like. They did. They kind of did that already with the Netflix stuff. And I know there were like politics between like Marvel TV and Marvel Studios yeah, back then. So stupid. Yeah, but but like the it, people people's argument could also have been just like this is too mature. It's never going to make it in the MCU, and then it didn't. And that's yeah. that's also my worry is like if we do get like a fun 
Punisher show or like a Daredevil that matches the grittiness of the original ones, then yeah. we're suddenly never going to see Daredevil in anything other than his show. It's like, right. oh, we're, we're like back to where we were off. five years ago. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I, I don't know about you guys. I feel like that's so possible. Like, I feel like, you know, it, it's like how you should make the DC cinematic universe where it's like, make them yeah. all their tones. Like, a, a Punisher show, you you are watching Punisher as a, as a protagonist. So in that mm-hmm. regard, you're watching him. You're, he's more sympathetic, but also like you're watching him murder the hell out of people. <laughs> and it's extreme. And it's like, if you're looking for Punisher, there's your Punisher. But if you want Punisher to be an antagonist in a Spider-Man movie or a Captain America movie or a Daredevil movie or show, he doesn't have to be like cutting throats all the time like it can be the tone of the show that he's in yeah just like daredevil can be fun and cool in another cameo but still be tonally consistent with the thing he's in over here where it's a little more mature because it's like if i'm watching the hawkeye show and daredevil shows up you know obviously i mean you know the tones are going to be different and i feel Mm -hmm. like there's an opportunity there to like to just be to just trust that no one will be confused if Punisher is more extreme in his own show than he is, or maybe than we show. It was like it's like the it's like the Deadpool argument where they're like, "How mm. are we going to get Deadpool in the Marvel Universe when he when he swears?" And I'm like, "Bleep him!" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to say they, they do that all the time in the comics. Like I right. just yeah. you know, I just did a video on the Chip Zdarsky Daredevil run. Spider Man yeah. shows up and fits, but he's not the same version as like over in. Spider Man. No, he's that, not that Peter Park. It, but it's but it's you still go. Oh, that's still Spider Man. Oh, he's yeah. just in a different mood right now. Mm-hmm. Punisher yeah. shows up in other books, and he doesn't go around slitting throats and stuff. He yeah. shows up, like does, you makes can, his comment, you know, goes. Yeah, the probably the best scenes of Punisher in Daredevil season was it two? Uh, it's two are when. When Daredevil is chained to a thing and they're just talking. <laughs> Did you see them on Twitter that John Bernthal, like somebody tweeted it and John Bernthal retweeted it and was like, such good writing. Like That's he's cool. like, yeah, that was cool. He's like, I like doing that scene. I rewatched that scene about a month ago and I was like, they're never going to put this in the MCU. <laughs> but, but, that, but like, that's so the thing, good. right? Is like, but like they could. Like, yeah. the yes, need to it's be all- a, a McDonald's commercial. It could be. Subtle. (laughs) It's all possible, but I just, I think like, especially the timing that it's happening in, I hope maybe this is a couple years down the road because like right now with hot off the heels of Peacemaker and the Batman and what like DC is doing and they're kind of all over the place. I hope Disney learns from that and says like, Hey, we can do this. Like, cause their mantra for a while has been like, no, like all of our stuff has one tone. If it's in the same universe. Yeah, but. yeah. Dears, Disney on Miramax, they produced... They, Disney practically bankrolled Pulp Fiction. You know what I mean? Like, Right, yeah. Like that, they they that's made the, movies that are hardcore, and they just had it through a different studio. And it's not like the Netflix stuff... Like, the Netflix stuff exists through Disney. <laughs> yeah, you like can it still was just watch it. Over there. Yeah. Right, but and like, now it's here. Now it's in it. Now uh-huh. they're acknowledging they own it, and it's like, then And people own clearly it. like it, so... <laughs> right. Yeah, they like it enough for you to keep it. You didn't just let the... Like, you didn't just... Uh, make Netflix pay you to keep it. All I Sony is on Disney Plus outside of the U.S. Like they, <laughs> well, <laughs> like, well, now they have the mature thing. I'll bet it comes here. I was like, yeah, it's, on, it's on Hulu. I just got another ad for it on my Hulu yesterday. They're like, always oh, Sunny. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I've seen that season. <laughs> yeah, we live in. I think I said this last time, and I'll continue to say it. We live in interesting times right now with all of you this. I, I would like to not anymore. <laughs> You'd like to know where it's all going, basically. Yeah, Just, I'm done with. I'm done being intrigued and surprised by so much stuff happening. In my life, in the <laughs> I world. think that's the thing, right? Is like it's so fun and exciting. Like, like that moment when you're sitting in the theater in in No Way Home and, and Charlie shows Cox up. shows up, yeah. and your your mind gets blown. And yes! now we're like. <laughs> Now we're like three months out, and it's like, where are they going with this? Yeah, but what are you doing? I, I would I, have loved though if he's like uh, Matt Boner. Uh, the <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. That would be great. Yeah, I forgot Boner about Murdoch. that. They've been doing this for a while. <laughs> yeah, that Boner thing, Ooh. man. Like, what a mistake. Not only a mistake, but like, what an f you. That just says that just says they're kicking the can down the road. They're like, I don't know what we're doing. Yeah, they we don't know what they're no doing plan. with. Yeah, the extraneous mm-hmm. stuff. Don't trust us. We have no idea. Doctor Strange, I feel like, is gonna gonna set some groundwork. I think this is 
not knowing anything about that no, movie. No, yeah. <laughs> right, right. I'm right. telling you, man. No, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is Marvel's No Way Home. They're like, Sony mm. got too much money from No Way Home. We're going to No Way Home Doctor Strange. Put everything in there. Throw the kitchen <laughs> sink own. at it. Everyone's in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll see. But I think we're getting off track now, so I'm going to pull us a bit. I know I didn't have much to say about this, but you got. For those who don't know, (laughs) no, no, not at all. For those who don't know, they're the bigger Netflix fans than I am. I I watched portions of each season. I finished one and two of Daredevil, didn't even finish three. So I did just a little bit quieter over here. Holy shit. Yeah. (laughs) But I heard one and two of the good ones. So good. (laughs) No, the the problem awesome. I was had with the Netflix model, which is why I, it, it, and this is why for anyone who ever wondered, the yeah. way Netflix came out would they would drop a whole season, and I just couldn't it's watch tough. it fast enough to be a part of the discussion because mm-hmm. I was doing so many other things. And so by the time I'd be like, all right, time to watch Daredevil. Oh, it's been four days. They're not talking about that anymore. <laughs> What's the thing I got to talk about now at the job? That's why it was never that I didn't want to. It no, was yeah. just like if you couldn't binge it for you know. Oh no. Yeah, you needed to binge it. Like that, yeah, that and was, if you didn't, and it, with our jobs, it was like, all right, well, I missed that. What's the next thing I got to get on? Yeah, what's the next show? Like, anymore. Sucks. I'm so glad that's over. Yep. yep. <laughs> so, anyway. All right. I'm so but glad anyway. this video is over. Hey! <laughs> <laughs>